Today, it makes it hard for me to try to talk about theirs because I am touched and I'm moved by the This is where God called me to preach the gospel, and I, I consented to it that I would do it. And I'm here today, 60 years later, talking about that time, but especially my calling to the ministry. It was just right out here beside of our bamboo huts in a latrine the night that we were attacked by the Japanese, and I made my vow to the Lord. I will preach the gospel and do what he wanted me to do. Lighthouse is celebrating 67 years. I was here 65 years ago. Lighthouse is my life. I don't know what I would do without Lighthouse. It's the heartbeat of my whole life. I love everyone here. I miss Bishop and Sister Peters, but I love Pastor David. He is an awesome leader. Over the years I have been here, I'll soon be 55. I've been here since I was five. Um, I can always remember whether in and out, good or bad, I knew that the lighthouse was my home, my safe place, my soft landing. It's home. I got baptized here, and since I've gotten baptized, I feel the Holy Ghost in me, and I just feel like everyone here is like so kind and everything, and I feel like I'm at home and I'm safe here. This is like my house. I love my church because it is my home and I love the classes too. It means a lot to me because I was born into this church. I feel like I'm at home. I love my church because it's my home. We started at the lighthouse up at the old church was gravelly. We started with Brother Peters. And Brother Peters, he used to come and visit us before we ever really got in church like we needed to. And, and uh, I really appreciate him doing that. And, and um, when I did come and God gave me the Holy Ghost and I was baptized, Brother Peter's baptized me in the coldest water I've ever been in, but I came up very warm. <laughs> Didn't get cold at all, but uh, we've raised our children in this church and it's been such a blessing. It's been a blessing to work in our Sunday school. Everything that we've ever done for the Lord or I have ever done has been a blessing. And I encourage everyone that's working in our church or in our Sunday school, just remember, it's a blessing to do anything for the Lord. I know when I first started, uh, it wasn't long that uh, someone came to me and said, the bishop said to put you to work. And they put me in a Sunday school room, gave me a class, and I said, well, I don't know anything. And they told me I would learn. <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> it was a blessing. It really was a blessing. Everything we've ever done for the Lord is a blessing. The church was in revival. And uh, Brother Peters, the Bishop Peters, and Brother Turner came to visit and invite us to church. Yes. And we came to that revival, and we've been coming ever since. Ever since. Never had any desire whatsoever to even go anywhere else. This has been our home church. We love it and we stand with it. The church I grew up in didn't encourage young people, but that has changed here. The Lord's always come on the scene and we've always had everything we've needed. And Marquis blessed us with children, three children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren and they all love the Lord, so that that is a blessing. Yes, yes. Blessing. all of our family is in yes. church. I get really excited to come to church. I love to learn and worship Jesus. I love my church because we get to learn about God. We have so much fun at church. I love my church because all my family is here. My house means Honestly, like technically speaking, my whole life because I was, I've been going to this church since I was a fetus, and um, yeah, you know, being dedicated here, baptized here, filled with the Holy Ghost here means everything. Means my life. 
because until I started here, I didn't know anything about the Bible, salvation, or anything else. But I learned more here in a year than I'd learned in a lifetime. Lighthouse is my home. Um, Lighthouse is my family, and it's a place that I can come where I feel loved and supported. Uh, it's a place of rest where at the end of a long week you can come cast your cares and just feel renewed. And it's something that's nice for me at the end of my week. I can just come and be at peace. Lighthouse is just home. It's that simple. It's walking in and you know you're home. You know you're surrounded by people that love you and that accept you and that are there for you. And there's no place like coming in on to the lighthouse on a Sunday morning. I went to this church for a long time and I honestly feel like it helped shape me as a person um, and the likable, really good parts of my personality come from all of the time that I've spent here. And when I decided that I wanted to go back to church, I really just didn't know where to go. Um, so I thought about it and I prayed about it and God was like, just go home. And I didn't even have to think twice about where home was. I knew it was right here. Um, and I'm really happy to be back. I love my, my, uh, I love what, I love my church. I love the lighthouse. I love my church. I love you, lighthouse. I love lighthouse. I love lighthouse. I love my church. I love lighthouse. I love the lighthouse. I love the lighthouse. And we love everyone that's here today. And as far as where I see the church going, I just feel like it's going to have exponential growth. People coming back to church, people coming to church for the first time. I feel like it's going to be bigger and better than it's ever been before. And I feel like we're going to grow in fellowship. We're going to spend all kinds of time with each other and with people that we don't even know yet. And we're all going to benefit from it. I would love to see growth. I would love to see us expand in ways that we never have before. Um, I really want to see us branch out and fellowship more with other churches that either we already fellowship with or that we haven't even gotten to meet yet. Um, but I would love to see a growth for our church. In the future, the Lighthouse I see as a beacon for people to come, feel welcome, and to, for them to be at peace and just feel restored. and. I just can't wait for that to happen. I have big dreams and hopes for our church and for our future. I see so much growth spiritual. I see uh, saving souls. And for our church, my goal is to save our city. This is the city of God, the Lighthouse Church. Repent, repent, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the sins because you can't be recovered with Adam's sin. You have to get rid of his sin in order to be a new creature, in order to be revived, in order to be refreshed, and to be renewed into the Lord. And this is why. Then he goes on to say in the 39th verse, for the promise is unto you, Jews, and to your children, Jews. But all that are far off, that included the Gentiles as well. So the promise of the Father was not to the Jew only and not to the proselytes only, but it was for everyone, everyone. Praise God. And then we find in the 41st verse, then they that gladly received his word were baptized. The first thing that comes to my mind about the future of the church is its foundation. And the foundation was by God, of course, but fundamentally inside Bishop G.D. Peters. And what Bishop Peters, who is the father of this church, the things that he went through, the tears that he shed, and the countless times he cried out to the Lord for the church and for people, his hands over time became calloused, but it was what God called him to do. It was for this church. He reached an age, he told me, that I was to continue the church. I didn't know this at the time, but I know it now. 
the Lord is speaking to me and saying, because like King David, his hands were bloody and calloused. He would not be sensitive enough to the generation that was coming. So that was given to me, and God would have given me great wisdom to see that that would come to pass. For what my dad did, that was the cost for the dream. My cost began after he passed away. But this church will reach its destiny because of the foundation that we stand on, which was Bishop G.D. Peters, his wife, and the people who lived in that day whose hands bled, whose skin calloused.